Big, big, big win. Big win. Flex holds his hand up and says that he was not very confident going to this game. Honestly, you know what kind of went with me? I was kind of Bloody thinking... The wheel, mate. Come on, Flex. <laughs> come on, man. Come on. Yeah, I can. 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 You see what it means to my United fans, man? You know what it is? It wasn't that like I wasn't, didn't have confidence in the players or confidence in Oli. It's just the fact it's our bogey ground. Like, as it was getting up to the game, I was getting nervous. And then I saw the team sheet. I thought Matt would be on the right-hand side. Obviously, Smalling came in, and you're just thinking, oh, obviously, the is not there. But I was naive. I, 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 I take that. I take that on the chin. I think from start to finish, we were fantastic. We were comfortable with Chelsea. They didn't give us any real problems. We won that midfield battle. And what I really liked with Oli Gunnar Solskjaer today was the tactics, man. Putting Matter in that false nine position was absolutely brilliant. I see people saying that it was a 10. But from where I was standing, he was definitely a false nine. When we didn't have the ball, he did drop into the midfield to make, um, to make an extra player. But that's, that's where the game was won. It was won tactically. And Chelsea huffed and they puffed. And they just didn't cause us any problems. I think Higuain had one header. Um, has our cut in off the right, off the left-hand side and put a shot wide. But other than that, I think we marshaled them very well. And with us, it was about being clinical. We had two clear-cut chances and we took them. You know, and we was well in the game. And then from then on, it was about game management. You know, you get to half-time and you want to get, you want to, get to half-time having not conceded, especially when you, you're 1-0 up slash 2-0 up. And then we did that. And the game management from there was spot on. I like the fact that we, that we gambled. You know, there was, what I did see was from Chelsea, there was creating a lot of two-on-one situations in the flanks. That's where the Quetta was bombing on. And then you had um, <coughs> Alonso on the other side creating two-on-one situations, but we still left Lukaku and Rashford high up. And that's what Oli's saying. He wants to stay, stay true to his word. He wants, uh, you know, these, these, these teams to be scared of us. We're Man United. And we've come here, look, after the PSG game, there's a lot of questions to answer. How are Man United going to perform after a loss? How are Man United going to perform with some injuries? And we've answered both of those questions. We've got two green ticks in the boxes next to it. You know, there's a lot more to come from Ole Gunnar Solskjaer and we've still got a long way to go. The fact that we've made it into the top four in that time is fantastic. We've got two very, very hard draws. Arsenal away, all right, maybe that's an easy one. But Arsenal away, we managed to go and beat them. And then you're looking at it thinking, Chelsea at home, are you serious? Then we go and win there. We're silencing the critics. The rival fans are pissed off. Man United you know, are back in town again. Then we go and get Wolves away, which again is not easy. So if we're going to win this FA Cup, we're definitely going to do it the hard way. But what I was most impressed about today is not just the tactics, but the game management. You know, we saw Lukaku was getting tired. It wasn't quite working. OK, Sanchez, let's rock and roll. He saw Matt Arad put in an absolute shift, which he did. Pereira trusted him. You go and play the false nine. We've said, me and Ransom said in plenty of shows before, he's good enough to do that. But second half, I thought, you know what? I would like to see us go for the third, but the way that the game progressed, Chelsea, Chelsea had to come out of the blocks and we knew that they were going to do that. And they did, and they did, but we soaked it up. I have to give a special mention to Lindelof and, um, and Smalling. They were fantastic today. They were everywhere. I thought they marshaled Higuain very well. <coughs> they won everything in the air. They won everything on the floor. We defended well as a unit. I think both fullbacks were good. Ashley Young, he had a good game. He had a good game against Hazard. He fouled him earlier on and I thought, oh, here we go. Then he got a yellow card, a silly yellow card at that. I think it was, I can't remember who it was, he was facing their own goal and it was a good press and he got a silly yellow card. So then I'm thinking, right, we need to be careful. Matic got another, another yellow card as well. Oh, people just fighting and being silly. <coughs> but from then, you know, at the end of the day, you're thinking of it like, what's the game management like? And we marshalled Chelsea very well. We were comfortable. Listen, the pressure's on them. You know, Sarri, there's a lot of questions about him. We've added to that pressure. Chelsea fans are very, very upset. But who cares? Listen, we go on to the next round. And if we're going to win this FA Cup, like I said earlier, we're not going to win it the easy way. And the Herrera, before I go. This guy, this guy. Look, he was everywhere on that pitch. He took his goal fantastically well. But he was everywhere on the pitch. He was dispossessing Haddard. He was making, he was making good attacking passes. He was intercepting play. He was organising plays. He's like a true captain. We need to give this guy a contract ASAP. Sign him up for another two years for me. I'd give him a two-year contract. And, and, and keep him in there because he's been absolutely brilliant. Pogba, a goal and an assist, absolutely brilliant. What can you say? The guy just goes from strength to strength. And there's still people who question this guy's ability and he keeps proving them wrong time and time again. And Marcus Rashford, he took his time out there on the right hand side, took his time, picked his spot. Pogba with a good header. What can I say? My man of the match though is actually going to go to Ander Herrera. It is going to go to Herrera. Um, I think he was everywhere. It's easy for Pogba to get it. It's easy for maybe the Rashford to get it. But Herrera was, was brilliant. And a close second. Yes, Pogba as well. I'm, I'm just putting that to the side because that's like the main, the main star. A close second. Victor Lindelof, man. He was outstanding. Outstanding. So for me, on we go. It's going to be a difficult tie against Wolves. But look, we're confident. We go to Arsenal and win. We can go to Chelsea and win. Damn right, we can go to Wolves and win. So let's see what happens. Guys, you've been watching uh, United Stand.
drop your views in the comments in the boxes below.